It's the year 1988, and it's time for bats! No, I don't mean the flying kind that goes scree-scree. I mean the kind that swing back and forth and go ping-ping. Welcome back to Mother, a.k.a. Earthbound Zero. Previously, we were not even like five minutes into the game and our house got attacked by a poltergeist. Furniture was flying everywhere and trying to kill everyone. And I didn't speak to this sister. Her name is Mimi. She is the pink sister and don't confuse her with Minnie or you'll have a fight on your hands. A fight that I cannot win. I'm psychic, but I can't hit girls. I'm a nice guy. I was leveling up a little bit. I'm level 5 now, and I got hypnosis that puts people to sleep. And also, I was going to show you where I was grinding these levels so I don't go outside and get killed by Wally again. Down here, in the basement, are enemies. They're just on a low encounter rate thing. Let's see if we can find one right now. Here, enemy, I know you're down here. Do I scare you because I'm level 5 and got a baseball bat? Ah, there he is. The only enemy that spawns down here are rats. Common rats! Every adventurer in an RPG has to kill rats to level up. And they're so easy to kill. Easy levels! Because outside is dangerous. Also, another thing I didn't point out, this is the normal walking speed for Mother. This is how fast you went in the regular Japanese version. This is running. That's right. Mother 3 had it, and so did Earthbound Zero. Japanese version did not. It just makes it much easier to get around. I think it spikes her encounter rate, too, because it gets crazy when you run. But since we know how to run, and we have a baseball bat, and we're level 5, we could hit the podunk now. Hopefully I don't get assaulted too much by Wally. Or a crow! There's tons of enemies outside our house. We got Wally, we have this crow. This crow is actually a graphical change from the original game. He was holding a cigarette in the Japanese version. And he steals our items from time to time too, which is a little annoying. But he only steals if you have food items. Otherwise, he'll waste turns or try to bash you. But yeah, there's gonna be lots of graphical changes because Nintendo got a hold of this. No crosses, no gore. No cigarettes or alcohol. Or knives. And this lady, she has problems. Poltergeist problems she could call the Ghostbusters. No, her little Pippi is missing. She doesn't have a poltergeist problem at all. If we're going to Podunk, we're going to have to talk to the mayor. Her child is missing. There is no police. There is no Podunk police. There's a Podunk mayor. He's probably corrupt as heck. I'm just telling you that right now. Speaking of which, welcome to Podunk! It's a Podunk town in the middle of a Podunk forest. Here's a Podunk guy! Is he having problems with a Podunk poltergeist? Yes, he is. It tore his house apart! Speaking of houses, we can't enter all of these houses like we can in Earthbound, and loot their stuff if they have any. But this house mouse will tell us all about it. Hello, house mouse, this is a mouse house! Some buildings you could enter, some you cannot. If the door is round, or has a sign, you could go on in. Otherwise, it's trespassing, and Ninten will not do that. He's a nice guy. Alright, see you later, Mouse Slam. That's how my dad ends conversations. It works for him, he's a businessman or something. See? This house right here. Can't go in. Nope, nobody home. How about you? South to the cemetery? Sounds like something's going on there, probably poltergeist related. You old lady, tell me more about Cemetery. A necromancer in the cemetery! And also, there's a hotel around here. We are in Podunk now, and since we're in a town, the enemies cannot attack us. See? There's a hotel right there. We could stay there and recover our health. But they're a little expensive, and I don't have cash. The animals are going crazy, too! And the dead are rising from the graves and attacking people. It's like War Z plus one. It knows algebra now. Zombies that know math. But the Canary Village is fine. No zombies there, and the admission is free. We should live there. Live with the Canaries in peace. Let's get some more information about these zombies. You, blue hair guy. Zombies, please. They could be anywhere. They look like people. How does that work? Are you a zombie? No, that question was posed at you. I am not a zombie. Yes, Ninten is actually a human. You are not hallucinating. 
It's amazing you got here without being assaulted. This game likes to do that. Believe me, we'll see it eventually. Let's try some other permutations. I am not a zombie. And uh, me, Armored Chocobo, I am not a human. So here's a secret only Chocobo should know. He's gonna wet his pants. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. How about we admit we're a zombie? What's the worst that can happen? There's no cure for zombies! Ah! That guy has problems. Yes, he does. Indeed, he does. He has, he has a zombie phobia. A necrophobia. She does not have a necrophobia. She has a plutophobia. She can't get money from the service counter. The ATM. She doesn't have a card. Ah, there's a gentleman in the Canary Village. It sounds like that's a quest. And a receptionist at Syri City Hall is so gorgeous, but I'm thinking of mayors. How about some mayor information? Ah, there we go. There's a hint. The town mayor is looking for someone, and I'm looking for him. Maybe we should have a sit-down. You, Raggedy Andy. Or Raggedy Ann. You have asthma, and so does Ninten. That's right, Ninten has some problems. He has a bad temper, which he really hasn't shown off yet, but he also has a case of asthma. Certain enemy attacks will set it off, like car exhaust. Living cars in this game, that's ridiculous. Well, it happened in Earthbound. They certainly derived it from somewhere. No, she has not. I did not get that quest yet. There's tons of little mini quests to send you on your way. Some will end in melodies, others will end in stuff. So, let's go to the city hall and see if we can get some stuff. Ah, she doesn't have a- she's not gonna tell us right now. We are not a hero. You, do you know about Lost Pippies? No, he's the administrative assistant. We gotta talk to Mr. Mayor. He got ousted by B.H. Perkle. Oh no! Is it the same Pippi? It could be. And he's up for re-election. We're gonna have to do something about this. We're gonna have to help him. It's a but thou must situation. As in, but thou must help my re-election. Yes, I will go there and save her. I'm an adventurer now. Nice slip of the tongue, you jerk. Yeah, he wants to be the hero and take credit for what I'm about to do. Save a girl from zombies. But zombies are really strong, and I was getting beat up by Wally, so I don't want to. I don't want to go fight zombies. Why did you accept that, Ninten? Oh well, there's another quest in this area if you're daring to accept it. This is the department store, with the drugstore theme. We heard it in the mayor's office too, but I like it here. It belongs here. The service desk is on the ground floor, we could return stuff there for money. Drugstore has asthma sprays and life up creams that help heal us. I think another way to heal asthma is to use a psychic power. I'm not too sure on that though. We also got sports goods. Ooh, new bat. And also old bat, but we don't care about that. New bat is $500. I'm gonna have to see if I have $500 in my bank account. From my dad. You know he deposited some. What do we have for food? We got bread that could egress us or heal us. And sports drinks are a much better healing item. They heal for a hundred. I don't think I'm gonna buy any. I got life up. What are you selling? We are selling nothing. All the animals have escaped and they're now enemies outside our town. We only have a canary chick. Sure, I'll buy it for zero dollars. How about we haggle? You got start at 85, I start at zero, we end at zero. There we go. This guy does not know how to haggle. We got a free canary. Aw, oh, no wonder he was free. He's broken. Canaries are supposed to be happy all the time. Oh, really? I wonder what's causing it all. Is it a poltergeist? I don't know. I'm not psychic. Oh, wait, I am. See you later, department store. You're dead to me for now. I don't think I have enough money. Maybe I should check. I'll show you how to use a CD. Cash dispenser. I think they changed to ATM in the Japanese version. No, only 382. Let's take out, I don't know, enough to stay at a hotel. 
just enough. In case I need it. And I do need it! Actually, better thing, I'll show off my crumbs. Watch this! Whoosh! I went back to where I dropped the crumbs to begin with. Which just happens to be my house. It's not a long walk. She'll cook greens for us and recover our health for free, so I don't waste money at a hotel. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Those greens are great. And we can do that anytime we want, but we've wasted our crumbs. We can't go back now. Our crumbs are gone. See? I just wanted to make some room and get a healing. And also fight with Wally again. It's round two. I'm two levels stronger. I was about to say I have a wooden bat, but I did not buy it. You, Wally, I'll beat you up for your cash money. I need to buy a bat. For $500. The economy is all out of whack. It's another enemy. Just like the crow, he's a basic mook enemy. All he knows how to do is bash. This is the centipede. He has low HP, and he is a bug. That's all you need to take away from this situation. Goodbye, centipede. Oh, he gave us a psychic power. Sometimes you don't get them immediately after a level up. But we got healing alpha now. I'm not sure what it heals, I'm pretty sure it's just poisons and colds. Yep, you could get sick in this game just like Earthbound. Just like the sequel. Alright, you might be lost. We don't know where the Canary Village exactly is. But it's off to the west somewhere. The trick is, you go off the beaten path. Right through here will lead you to the Canary Village. No hunting, you're approaching canaries. Why are you hunting canaries? That's ridiculous. A hippie! I knew there was hippies in these woods. Having a wood stock here. A podunk stock, as they call it. These are dangerous enemies starting out. They can hit pretty hard. And they can also meditate. I don't like them getting one with the universe. They could get one with my bat instead. But they have attacks like they could use a bullhorn and reduce your offense. Or increase it. And we got more hippies. I knew it was hippie stock. That's okay, a few turns and these guys will fall apart. Look at all that HP I got! You have no chance, I was grinding on rats. Now I'm grinding on hippies! I've moved up in the food chain. Oh, that's a little depressing, hippies feeding on rats. Enough with the hippies! This is a hippie fest! This is a hippie palooza! I just said hippie stock, I'm running out of concerts to put the word hippie in front of. Arg! You guys, not the good. Peace and love, not the good. Experience points is the good. Stop attacking me. This is a great example of why the spawn rate is so ridiculous. Yep, indeed. I actually have a few weapons besides what's actually in the game to stop this from happening. But I just wanted to go on its natural state for a while, so you'll get a taste of what it's like to get assaulted after taking a few steps. Yeah, it's all the JRPG bells and whistles. Okay, is that a canary? That's a person-sized canary! That's a chocobo! No wonder they can't sing! Welcome to the chocobo village refuge! Nice! Okay, cool. You... You are very big canaries. You see? We weren't just in Final Fantasy. We were here too. And I get lost in trees that I can't walk behind because this is an NES. See that? That's a solid block. I can't get past that. It would be nice if I could walk behind it, but it doesn't have the technology yet. All of these canaries will just say ellipses at us. And that's different. What is that? It's different than the others. Nah. Not my point. I gotta find this gentleman. There he is! I have a canary for you. Do you want to raise it here so it becomes a giant canary? It belongs to the singing Laura. Let's take it back to her. But where is she? Are you Laura? No, you look more like a Boko. Okay. I actually gave it away a little early. The secret is right here. You could walk behind this one. You must be Laura. Yes, you are. She is Laura. She am Laura. So, this belongs to you. 
Why did you lose it? Why was it in a pet store? Returning the chick to Laura gives you another melody. Ah, that is so soothing every time I hear it. Two melodies now. I'm doing good at this. I just wanted to come to the canary refuge just to have a talk with all the canaries and return the canary chick. I wonder if the old guy has something to say about it. I reunited mother and child. That's a good thing, right? I get a prize for that besides a melody, right? Ah, she's just started singing again. Yes, I did. There's power and song. That's a really big hint. He's really foreshadowing it up. Alright, we are going to have to get back to Podunk, though. And I'm probably going to be assaulted many, many times. Because I did something good. And whatever this poltergeist is, he does not like that. If we head north of here, though, there's a zoo. The zoo is very dangerous. Do not get close to it. I don't care if you're level 10. It will destroy you. I have a way of circumventing the zoo. Or at least making it easy enough that it's not going to murder me as soon as I step into it. It's a dangerous place. It's one of the notorious dungeons in this game. There's at least three I could think of. We have the zoo, and we have two others. One is very late game, and is really, really annoying. And I'll be cutting out lots and lots of battles. What do we have to do now? We save the canary chick. We got something with the cemetery down there. And I don't know what else. We'll play it by ear. Aren't we supposed to be finding a poltergeist? Why am I fighting zombies now? Why am I hunting for zombies? Why did I do the whole canary chick thing? The reason why is because this game is very non-linear. There's lots of side quests you could do, as I've mentioned before. You! Set me on the right track. Zombie! That's right, I'm fighting zombies! That actually meant he is a zombie. A very dangerous zombie called the Pseudo-Zombie. Or pseudo zombie, as it says there, because the E would not fit in the characters. But these guys are really durable! I'm gonna need a wooden baseball bat if I hope to survive this, these encounters with these pseudo-zombies. And they're quick, too! Look at that, I'm critical already! I'm gonna have to waste a turn on life up. That's right, zombie, I could heal myself. I have the power of life. You have the power of death. And I've killed you with it! He has returned to dust. And I get a level up. Good! The more of those, the better. In fact, I'm probably going to put a break in it here, because I'm going to go grind, and the next time, we're going to go fight zombies. There's zombies all over the graveyard. We don't like that. We do not like zombies in our graveyard. That is for dead people. They don't walk around. Good night, folks.